can't be. It isn't true. Um, Twilight. Me neither. That's not like you. I know. Don't you have a super annoying alarm clock that goes... Eh, 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 eh. It's gonna be fine. We'll help you pack. Ugh. We're gonna be out in the woods. When's she gonna need that? If we were going to the moon, I'd insist she packed an evening gown. One never knows, darling. Let me just get changed. Midnight Sparkle! How is this possible? Sunset Shimmer helped me defeat you at the Friendship Games. You and your friends can never truly defeat me. <laughs> <laughs> darkest shadows of your mind. I'll be back, Twilight. And this time, I won't stop until I have all the magic. No! Stop! Twilight, wake up. We can't stop, silly. We're not there yet. Hey, are you okay? Huh, I'm fine. We are gonna have so much fun. We're gonna roast marshmallows and eat marshmallows and sleep on marshmallow pillows. Yeah. Probably not gonna do that. Maybe you're not. Attention, students! We're almost there, but before we arrive, we just wanted to say how proud we are of you for raising enough money to go on this class field trip. When we were your age, we made some of our favorite memories in these woods, and we're sure you will too. Now, who's excited for Camp Everfree? <laughs> Isn't Camp Everfree just beautiful? I can't wait until we have our first nature walk. I definitely want to go on one of those. You want to see all the adorable whipping creatures too? Yeah, specifically squirrels. More specifically, so I can chase them. <laughs> I'm just looking forward to roughing it. I'm gonna make my own shelter, forage for food, 
Uh, you know they provide us with food and tents, right? Yep. Still gonna forage, though. <sighs> I'm just after some R&R. &R. The past year has all been a bit too much for my tastes. I'll say we fought three evil sirens who tried to hypnotize everybody with their singing, one ridiculously competitive rival school, and two demon friends. Uh, <laughs> no offense. None taken. You'll get used to it. Yep. Canterlot High has become a regular magic magnet. Gonna be nice getting away to a place where we don't have to worry about that kind of stuff. Here you go, Twilight. Thanks. It's Flash, right? Yep, that's me. And you're you. And we don't know each other very well. <laughs> cool story, bro. Right. I guess I'll see you around. You know how there's that girl who looks just like you when she's here, but lives in another dimension and she's a pony princess? Uh-huh. Flash kind of had a thing for her. Oh. Hi, everyone! If you could start heading to the courtyard, that would be rad! It's time to start the best week of camp ever! <laughs> Hi, everyone! Welcome to Camp Everfree! I'm Gloriosa Daisy, your camp director! Think of me as your friendly camp and nature guide. And this is my brother, Timber Spruce! Think of me as that awesome guy who should always be invited to fun things. We aim to please, so before we hand out our tent assignment, we'd like to hear from all of you. You're free to do whatever you like here. Uh, except hike near the rock quarry. That's off limits. Yes, but otherwise your options are wide open. So what activities will make this the very best week of your lives ever? Oh, rock climbing, done. Archery, of course. Tetherball, naturally. Rainbow. I know you're excited, but maybe give somebody else a chance to make a suggestion. Arts and crafts! My mom needs new pot holders. Awesome wine balloons! Cookie decorating! Ooh, I do make a mean sugar cookie. Early morning nature walks? With walking sticks for everyone! Oh, me! Oh, uh, a fashion show where I design the most fabulous camp looks inspired by today's hottest trends and have them modeled by my classmates in a gorgeous outdoor setting! A camp tradition! We have literally never done that. I'll be taking requests the rest of the time you're here, so if there's anything you'd like to do, anything you need, just ask. What about the camp gift? That was my favorite camp ever free tradition. The camp gift, of course! Really? Yes, really. Well, I just thought... Then you thought wrong. Anyone else picking up on a little tension between Gloriosa and her brother? Uh, little. Every year, campers work together to create something useful. A gift for future campers. Working toward this common goal is key to forming the strong bonds that will last well beyond your time here at camp. Which is why it's so important. This gazebo was a gift from last year's group. Oh, 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 and the totem pole and the sundial were also made by campers. The sundial was our year's gift. <clears throat> Even though some people thought it was a little impractical since the sundial can't be used at night. Oh, you all seem like a, a really amazing group. So I'm certain you'll come up with something inspiring to leave behind. <laughs> Speaking of leaving things behind, Now's the time when we give out tent assignments, so you can leave your heavy bags behind. Uh, girls will be getting their assignments from Timber. Guys, you're with me! Oh, boy! Mm -hmm. Yay! I'm in the Emerald Tent! Ooh, me too! Aquamarine. Me too! Yeah. Oh, yeah. I got Amethyst. Sapphire. Me too! I mean, I'm assuming I am. <laughs> Technically, sapphires aren't just blue. <laughs> they can be pink, purple, yellow. Yeah, but they're mostly blue. That's why they're named after the Latin word spherus. That means blue. I know. But did you know that sapphires are just rubies without chromium? No. But did you know that sapphire tent is the best one? No. Why is that? Because you're in it. Oh, I bet you say that to all the campers. Not true. You're in the ruby tent? Ha! <laughs> That's the worst one. Oh, man! I'm just joking, buddy. Ruby tent is great. It's like a sapphire, but with chromium. 
but the ruby and coral tints do look an awful lot alike to the undiscerning eye. I better show you where it is. See you around. What? <laughs> Nothing. That was adorable. Okay, everyone, go get settled in. We'll be meeting at the docks in 15 minutes to go over some camp safety rules. Let me know if you need anything. I need something. Filthy Rich, so nice to see you. What are you doing here? Camp is just getting started. Just taking in the scenery, Gloriosa Daisy. It's so <coughs> relaxing. Well, you can look around when camp is over. Now, if you don't mind. Five. Filthy Rich is uh, an alumni of the camp. He likes to check on his old stomping grounds every now and again. But enough about him. Find your tents and put away your things. We've got the best week of camp ever to begin. <sighs> I'm all for learning safety rules, but I do hope I can get started on my designs for the camp fashion show sooner rather than later. I still can't believe you talked Gloriosa into having a fashion show. We're in the middle of the woods, for crying out loud. We're supposed to be roughing it. It's clear from Gloriosa's own wardrobe that she appreciates a well-put-together look, even if we are in the middle of the woods. Fair enough. Just as long as you don't put me in one of your fancy pants outfits. You're gonna, aren't you? No. Yes! <laughs> don't worry, darling. It will absolutely speak to your personal sense. That was weird back there, right? With that guy, Filthy Rich? Huh? Oh, I guess so. I just have this feeling that Gloriosa's hiding something. Her brother is pretty cute, though, huh? He's okay. Ooh, now look who's trying to hide something. No, I'm not! Hey, you okay? You seemed a little freaked out on the bus earlier. Probably had another one of her nightmares. I'm fine. I mean, what do I have to complain about? Ever since I transferred here, everyone from CHS has been really nice and accepting. Especially considering what happened at the Friendship Games. That wasn't your fault. Principal Cinch is the one who encouraged you to try and use all that magic to win the games for Crystal Prep. You weren't ready to have that kind of power. But it's over now. And if there's any group that's gonna forgive you for something that happened in the past, trust me, it's this one. You guys come in or what? Be right there. I just want to put on some sunscreen. Huh, I could have sworn I packed it. Found it! Did you? How is this possible? I can't believe this. It's amazing! Terrible. Are you kidding? This is great! I mean, we've all ponied up before, gotten the whole ears and wings and tail thing, shot magical rainbow lasers, but nothing like this has ever happened. How did you do it? I don't know. Maybe I didn't. Maybe it's her. Her who? Nothing. Never mind. Can we just not talk about it? And could you please not bring this whole levitating thing up to the others? Why not? You heard Applejack. This is supposed to be a place where everyone can get away from magic. I don't want them to know I brought some crazy new kind with me. If you really don't want me to, I won't say anything. I really don't. Okay, but this isn't necessarily a bad thing. <sighs> I think you're just gonna have to pick it up. Aww. Show up like that! What did you say? I didn't say anything. Just here to make sure everyone was headed over to the docks. Did you need something? Nope. Because if there is anything I can do to make this week the best week ever, you just let me know. I've got this. Thanks. I'm good. People that chipper make me nervous. I guess not all people. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? It looks like a diamond shining in the sun. 
It is lovely out here. The fresh air, the cool breeze, the birds that land on your finger. I think that only happens to you. Lake activities are available every day until sunset. So if you want to canoe, sail, windsurf, or swim, just let me know. Aren't they just the cutest? Whoa. I know I'm charming, but you don't have to fall for me. <sighs> Guess I can't get too jealous, right? After all, she is in my twilight. Not that the other twilight was mine, but we were, you know. Yeah, I get it. But your twilight is a princess in Equestria. Hate to break it to you, but that's where she's gonna spend most of her time. So you're saying I just need to get over her? Kinda, yeah. Ouch. You're not pulling any punches. Not really my style. Sorry. This is a safety hazard. I suggest we close down the dock for the remainder of the camp. Oh, oh I'm sure it won't have to be for the remainder of camp. Just needs to be patched up a bit. I've got this! Huh. Or maybe we do. If you ask me, this whole dock needs to go. Building a new one could be our camp gift. Sure would benefit us, but a nice new dock would benefit future campers, too. I don't know. It's an awful lot of work. I wouldn't want you guys to miss out on doing other fun camp stuff because you're so busy building a dock for future campers. I hear what you're saying, Timber. But we're Canterlot Wonder Colts. We've got a reputation to uphold. And there was no way we were going to leave this place without contributing the most awesome camp gift ever. I'm with Agent. Building a new dock is definitely it. What do you guys think? Yeah! Looks like it's settled then. Looks like it. That's some tension, all right. We can reinforce the foundation, make it nice and sturdy, and we can add a wood carved sign that says Camp Everfree. And little boxes of food so you can feed the ducks and fishies. Oh, we'll add lanterns so you can see at night. It's stunning! And we'll make an absolutely perfect runway for my camp fashion show! More importantly, it'll be a great place for docking canoes and feeding the wildlife. Mm, you say tomato. I say perfect place to showcase glamorous boho chic stylings. What do you guys think? It's going to be a lot of work, but we can do it. Yeah! Huh. Nice hammer. Where'd you get it? Uh, duh, the toolbox? Huh. That's cool. I made mine. Duh. Making lanterns out of solar-powered garden lights. Pretty crafty there, Timber. You think that's crafty? You should see my macaroni art. I'm like the Picasso of noodles. <laughs> All right now. You've made a lot of progress, but it's going to be getting dark soon. We can pick this up tomorrow between our other camp activities. Everyone get cleaned up, and we'll gather by the fire pit at 8 to share s'mores and scary stories. And that's when she looked down and realized she was wearing purple socks with a burgundy dress! Darlings, the same color family. Uh, that was a terrifying story. Yeah, I'm terrified you'll try to tell it again. <clears throat> Anyone else have a spooky story? I have one, but I'm warning you. You might as well hug a friend now. That's how scary it is. Oh dear. It's time I told you about the legend of Gaia Everfree. Many years ago, my great-grandparents came to this forest. Seeing its beauty, they decided that it would be the perfect place for a camp. But once they started building, strange things started to happen. One black night, 
when the wind was howling. A tree branch crashed through the roof of their cabin. They screamed and ran outside, only to see a giant creature rising from the earth. She had wild hair like the roots of a tree. Her mouth had jagged rock teeth, and her eyes were pools of black tar. But her aura shimmered like diamonds. Anywhere she went, she left a trail of gem dust in her wake. Trembling, my great-grandparents asked who she was and what she wanted. In a deep and hollow voice, she told them that her name was Gaia Everfree, an ancient spirit who held domain over the forest, and that my great-grandparents were trespassing on her land. They begged her to let them stay and build their camp, to share this wonderful place with others. Gaia Everfree finally agreed, but warned them that they would not be able to keep it forever. Someday she would return and reclaim the forest as her own. So if you see a trail of gem dust, you'll know that it is... Gaia Everfree! <laughs> hey guys, sorry, didn't mean to scare you. Then why'd you come out of the bushes? I took the scenic route because the forest is beautiful at night. But no one else should do it without a guide, okay? All right, everybody, time to head to your tents. Uh, hey, Gloriosa, you have extra toothbrushes. I forgot mine. Sure do. I'll get one for you. <laughs> I'm scared of the dark. Do you have flashlights? Of course. I got this. <laughs> Fluttershy. <laughs> Sorry, Spike. I guess that story got to me. Why? It can't be real. I don't know. Gaia Everfree could be some creature that got booted from Equestria and ended up in this world. That's what happened with the sirens. Eh, sounded more like something that Timber was making up just to scare us. At least I hope it was. Last thing I want is to have camp ruined by some coward-crazed magical creature. Oh, hear, hear. We've had to deal with more than our fair share of those. At the ball formal, our musical showcase, the friendship game... Well, I mean, you know, uh, everything turned out all right, of course. <laughs> mm, I'm kind of tired. I'm gonna turn in. Maybe lay off bringing up what happened at the friendship games. I think she's still pretty sensitive about it. Our lip, our deal. <sighs> here I am. Sorry, Sunset. Uh, Twilight, I think something happened. Yeah! Is it time to get up already? Twilight, we really have to talk about this. No, we don't. To, but I really think we need to figure out what's going on with your magic. If you could learn to control it... But that's just it. I'll never be able to control it. What happened? I didn't mean to. We didn't see anything, so we don't know what happened. Are you okay? Yeah, it was so weird. We were stuck in the middle of the lake with no wind. Then all of a sudden, BAM! The wind picked up, and we were pushed right into the dock. No! You don't think it was the spirit, do you? No, it was me. Spirit, show yourself. The great and powerful Trixie commands it. What's that? Is that At least the fishies are eating well. Let's salvage what we can out of the water. Maybe we can still fix this. We have to try. Camp Everfree needs a runway! Doc. Doc, yes, that's what I meant. It 
used to be so simple it was a world i understood i didn't know what i didn't know and life seemed pretty good but now the darkness rises from somewhere deep inside of me Spike! Duh! Oh, man. I was having the best dream. Wait. That dream could be a reality. Before you run off to chase squirrels, do you have any idea where Twilight could be? I really need to talk to her. What happened? Did she do that lifting things off the ground thing again? That's just it. I don't know if it was her, but if it was, we need to deal with it head on. I can track her down. Keep it together. Deep breaths. You are not a monster. No! Oh, hi. <laughs> what are you doing here? Uh, looking for you. Oh, I just went on a nature walk and got a little lost. Let me show you the way. I'm kind of an expert at these woods. I've lived here my whole life. That must have been nice, growing up at a camp. Yeah, though it has its downsides. When I was younger, I wished we'd sell this place so we could live in a town like normal people. Really? I was 10. I really wanted to hang out at the mall. <laughs> <laughs> I've never told that to anyone. You must be special. And not just because you have a tree branch in your hair. Ugh, how long has that been in there? Not long. Just the whole time we were talking. <laughs> well, why didn't you say something? I guess we could help Twilight deal with the magic stuff a little later. Rock climbing is all about perseverance and trust. Rarity, you can trust that Applejack will spot you. Yeah, so you can totally go faster than you're going. Rainbow Dash. Sorry, I've been waiting to do this since we got here. Well, you'll have to wait a little longer, darling. Oh, good. Twilight, if you spot me, I can finally go. I'll go get another harness. I'm not sure. I better make sure my sister doesn't need anything. See you later. Twilight, there you are. I was looking for you. Is that an earthquake? We aren't near any fault lines. Hey! Who left this crystally dusty stuff here? Hi, believers! Like to come down now! Sorry, it's a little bit stuck. <laughs> Is everything okay over there? Uh, I don't know what happened. I didn't even pull the rope that hard. It's like she was light as a feather all of a sudden. Uh, I was scared half to death. It wasn't my fault. Uh, let me help you get your harness off. No, thank you. What in the world just happened? Oh dear. I am so sorry. I think. Did I just do whatever that was? I. I don't think it was your fault. I'm gonna go get Applejack a towel. Me too. 
You're not the only one with a new kind of magic. This is great. No, it's not. Rarity and Applejack could have really hurt each other. Why is this happening? I don't... Hi, girls. Anything I can do for you? Uh, Applejack just fell into the lake. Oh, no. She's going to need warm towels, dry clothes, oh, and a hot cocoa. I've got this. Fluttershy? What happened? I don't know. We were just decorating cookies and... That was all! You need more sprinkles and you need more sprinkles! So standard Pinkie Pie stuff. I was just tossing sprinkles to Fluttershy when all of a sudden they glowed pink and exploded! <laughs> just like that, only earlier! Okay, why don't lay off touching stuff for a while. Oh dear, we really should clean all of this up. Can someone help me out? Thank you, Mr. Bird. Why, of course I can get you a little something to... <gasps> Did you just talk? But I don't speak chirp. Well, I don't know if you're the only bird I can understand. Oh, no. Please don't call for your friends. It's nice to meet all of you, too. Were you just talking to the birds? Um, yes. Did you tell them what happened? So crazy. I hoisted Rarity up the rock climbing wall like it was nothing. Like I had way more strength than I usually do. And I made a diamondy thing appear out of nowhere, which normally I'd be excited about. I mean, the facets were just perfect. And the Rarity! Oh, sorry. It knocked Applejack over, and then it disappeared. Speaking of disappearing, has anybody seen Rainbow Dash? <laughs> Ow! Whoa, how'd you do that? I don't know. I started running to get the harness, and the next thing I knew, I was practically back in town. But if you had some sort of super speed, why were you gone for so long? Because I lost it when I got far away, and then it came back when I got close to camp. <gasps> Being at camp is giving us all new magical abilities! Not all of us have gotten new abilities. I haven't, but Twilight hasn't either. <sighs> So much for my theory that leaving CHS would mean leaving any new magic business behind. Something at the camp must be making this happen. Um, Gaia Everfree? Ah! Applejack, I was looking for you. Here, I brought you some towels and dry clothes. Uh, what happened in here? We're kind of trying to figure that out. Well, don't worry about it. I got this! Gloriosa! I kicked my beanbag into the lake. I'll get you another one. And I'm all out of arrows. Say no more. New arrows coming right up. There you are. Filthy Rich is back. You want me to handle it? Absolutely not. I've got this. Fluttershy, enough with the screaming. I didn't scream. For once, nobody did. Huh? Attention campers. Anyone who's interested in making floating paper lanterns, please meet us by the picnic tables. I don't know about the rest of y'all, but I've been looking forward to coming here for a month. Maybe we forget about this new magic for a bit and just try to focus on enjoying our time at camp. I was oh so excited about the designs I've come up with for the camp fashion show, and I've barely gotten to whoop anybody in tetherball. I think we should try to figure it out, but if letting it go for now is what the rest of you want... I have to do this! Yes, please. Um, Pinkie Pie? What are you doing? Putting marshmallows in my lantern? Then when we light them, mine will be beautiful and delicious! Hey, Twilight! Why aren't you with everyone else? Sunset said something at camp is causing the other girls to get new magic. I think it's Midnight Sparkle. She's still part of me. I can feel it. And I think her magic is infecting my friends. What are we gonna do? I don't know what I can do. Okay, everyone. It's time to watch your lanterns fly! Hey, cool lantern. Mine's my face. Uh, you 
okay. Mm-hmm. You don't seem like yourself tonight. Ready? And... Go! Aww. Oh well, now I get to eat it! Yep, beautiful and delicious. Twilight? What are you doing out here? We're... we're meeting a cab to take us home. She thought you'd talk her out of it. Because I would. Twilight, you can't leave. You don't think it was the spirit, do you? No, it was me. I think it's Midnight Sparkle. She's still part of me. I can feel it. And I think her magic is infecting my friends. Twilight, there's no Midnight Sparkle. There's only you. How did you know what I was thinking? When I touched your hand, I could see things. I could understand why you were leaving. My new magic. This is my new magic. This is incredible. No, it's not. I'm infecting you now. Twilight, you have to stop looking at this as a bad thing. Easy for you to say. Magic turned you into something beautiful. The last time I tried to use it, it turned me into a monster. I'm just so afraid it's gonna happen again. Yes, last time I turned into something amazing, but I've let magic turn me into a monster too. So if anyone understands what you're going through, it's me. I can help you, Twilight, and the rest of our friends can be there for you too, but not if you run away. <sighs> I'll stay, but I still don't think it's a good idea for me to be near the rest of our friends right now. Not until we know why this is happening. Understood. What was that? Ah! Ah! Wait, Twilight? Timber? I'm so glad it's just you. Wait, what are you doing out here? With an ax. I was chopping down firewood. In the middle of the night? We needed more for tomorrow night's campfire. And if I didn't take care of it tonight, it would be one more thing Gloriosa would add to her list. I've got this. <laughs> What about you two? Why are you hanging out in the woods in the middle of the night? Oh, I was sleepwalking. Twilight found me and was bringing me back to camp. Mm-hmm. Come on, I'll walk you guys back. I'll protect you from Gaia Everfree, Everfree, Everfree! Come on, that's obviously just a spooky story you made up to tell around the campfire. Oh, no. It's legit. How else would you explain what happened to the docks? And that weird thing where the earth shook? Uh, come on. I know a shortcut back to the tents. Legit, huh? I think we just found our Gaia Everfree. But why would he work so hard to make us think she was real? You heard what he said about wishing his sister would sell this camp. If nobody wants to come here because it's home to some angry ancient nature spirit, it sure would help his cause. We should tell Twilight. Not yet. She's obviously going through a lot right now. We should probably be 100% sure before we tell her the guy she likes is a jerk who's trying to run everybody out of camp. Uh-huh. <laughs> Uh, you gonna give us a hand here, Rarity? I would love to, but I really need to get the stitching on this poncho done if it's going to make it into the camp fashion show. Though at the pace you two are moving, I don't know that the runway will ever be finished. The dock is our gift to the camp, and it's gonna get finished. That is, if Rainbow Dash would hurry up and bring me more wood. I can't go any faster! I don't want to end up in the woods again. Don't be silly. Really? 
<sighs> I know I said we should try to forget all about this new magic business, but I can't. What if I hammer the board into splinters? Uh -huh. Oh, shoot. I'm all out of nails. Oh, here you go. Pinky, no! Like the sprinkles? Wow, glad that didn't happen, huh? Uh, sorry, girls. I, I didn't mean to. Uh, I don't know how to control this. It's okay. Oh, none of us do. Which is why we shouldn't pretend this isn't happening. Do you have them now, too? It started last night. When I touch people, it's like I can feel what they're feeling and see their memories. Ooh, fancy! Try me, try me! So much. Yep! Girls, we can't just brush these powers aside because it doesn't seem like the ideal time to get them. What if it turns out that they could actually make things better? So you have magic, and it's not that great. But when it found you, you know it was fate. And it might seem scary now, but it can be wonderful too. So how about we embrace Pretty awesome. And look what you managed to accomplish. Please, 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 can we do a run through for the fashion show on it right this minute? Thought you weren't finished with the stitching on your poncho. I am now. Get started without me. I gotta go find Twilight. Seeing what we've been able to do here might make her embrace the new magic too. Uh, not that she has any. Ah, this is all too much for you. You have to let it go. I knew it. He wants her to get rid of the camp. <laughs> oh. Sunset Shimmer? What were you doing behind that door? What? Um, nothing. I, um, lost an earring. Uh, there it is. Hey, listen. I'm glad I ran into you. I really wanted to thank you. For what? <laughs> for the tough love. Telling me I should get over Twilight. I needed to hear that. Sure, no problem. Is something wrong? What? No. Why? Come on, Sunset. We used to date. 
I know when something's bothering you. Uh, okay, here's the deal. My friend really likes someone, but I don't think that someone is who she thinks they are. I don't want to upset my friend by telling her what I think because I also want to protect her because if what I think is happening is really happening, then she deserves to know, you know? No. But what I do know is that your friend is lucky to have someone like you to look out for them. Really? Yeah. You know, you've changed a lot since we went out. You're so much nicer. Thanks. I'm glad you noticed. Uh, look, maybe you and me, we could start over as friends. Uh, uh sounds great. I gotta go. Cool. Yeah, I want to start over later, too. Uh. She says to meet her by the rock quarry. I thought we weren't supposed to hike out that far. She says it's important. What is that? Ah! Shh. What's going on down there? I think it's Gaia Everfree. Or rather someone who wants us to think she's back. Come on. here I can I can feel it wait I thought Timber was just faking there was a magical nature creature are you saying it's real Timber what does he have to do with any of this nothing it's all me Gloriosa but Timber I was sure he was the one trying to make it seem like Gaia Everfree was back it was you who was trying to scare everyone away? I would never try to scare anyone away from Camp Everfree. Oh, my. You fell behind on your payment, Gloriosa. I own the land now. Please, my great-grandparents founded this place. It's been in our family for generations. You have to let the camp stay. <laughs> Instead of turning it into a spa resort that will line my pockets with more money than this camp ever could. <laughs> I don't think so. Please! I, I... I just need a little more time! Fine. I'll give you till the end of the month. <laughs> <laughs> What'll I do? don't know what those things are. But I know what they can do! I've been practicing! I can control their power now! You don't know that for sure. This is our camp, and it's being taken away! If this has to be our last week here, I'm going to use whatever it takes to make it count! magic all over the place. I had to tell them something to cover for you. What did you want me to do? I just wish you didn't tell them that ridiculous story! Ah, this is all too much for you. You have to let it go! 
Timber wasn't talking about letting go of the camp. He was talking about you letting go of the magical geodes. All those things you were doing to make this week the best week ever, every time you used magic to do them, it caused another problem somewhere else. Timber was covering for you. How do you know what I was doing with the geodes? How do you know about the magic? I can see things, feel things, because I have magic too. And so does she, and so do our friends. Gloriosa, Timber wasn't wrong. Maybe you should stop using magic. Too much of it can be dangerous if you can't control it. Oh, I got this. And I'm going to use it to save my camp. I just need more power! No! Sorry, girls. I know what I need to do. But I feel like we're not on the same page. So... <laughs> dress rehearsal. Uh -huh. I suppose we can get started without them. Whenever you're ready! Hmm, told you you'd like it. It's all right, I guess. I do get to keep it after camp though, right? Different. Yeah, she looks taller. This is only a preview. <laughs> I've got another entire line I'll debut at the real thing. Why did you stop the... <gasps> oh, my goodness. Attention, campers! It's Gaia Everfree! She's real! Ah, why no? Gloriosa? What are you doing? That's Gloriosa? Am I going crazy or her feet not touching the ground? Freaky deaky! I have an announcement to make. Filthy Rich wants this to be the last session of Camp Everfree. But don't worry, I got this!
always happen to us? What are we going to do? What we always do! Save the day! work spike Twilight you have to use your magic I don't think I can lift something that big it's our only chance of getting out of here and helping our friends Shall we? I mean, I think Camp Everfree is absolutely delightful, but I just don't know that I'm quite ready to give up my weekly trips to the spa. To the spa? To the spa! Gloriosa, this isn't the way. I appreciate your concern, Timber, but I got this! No! You don't! Twilight, do you think you can use your magic? I don't want to use too much. Midnight Sparkle could take over. Twilight! Our friends are in there! Okay. Please, Gloriosa. What you're doing is crazy. You have to listen to me. That isn't Gloriosa. Twilight! Don't say you're okay. That isn't your sister. It's someone who's been consumed by equestrian magic. Whoever you are, you have to let my sister go. Please, Gloriosa, come back. I need you. Gloriosa! Too much magic. 
I can't. It's the only way. You have to embrace the magic inside you. But what if she takes over? What if instead of saving everyone, I turn into Midnight Sparkle and only make things worse? That won't happen. We won't let it. Come on, Twilight. You have to be stronger than she is. <laughs> you will never control me. I will always be a part of you. Gloriosa? What... what happened? It's okay. It's gonna be okay. You did it! Oh, nice play. What... what are these? I'm not sure. But clearly, we have some kind of connection to them. I almost don't care what they are. They are gorgeous! <gasps> and we'll totally go with the other collection I was working on for the camp fashion show! <laughs> That's probably cancelled, isn't it? I am so sorry. I only wanted this to be the best week Camp Everfree has ever had. And instead... I've made it the worst. Maybe it's for the best that I'm losing the camp to Filthy Rich. No, it's not. This camp has meant so much to so many people. My sister and me included. Why do you think we wanted our students to come here? We can't let Filthy Rich take this place away. If camp meant so much to you two, maybe it meant as much to the other campers who came here in years past. And maybe we can get them to help save it. Oh. Like a fundraiser? Or a ball? Our band could play! I could help write a new song just for the occasion. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Those are all good ideas, but where would we hold it? We could hold it in the crystal cave. <gasps> a crystal ball? I admire everyone's enthusiasm. Really, I do, but I, I just don't know how we're going to plan a ball by tomorrow and invite everyone. We got this! I used to think that stories were just that, set in stone.
helping us raise enough money to save Camp Everbree! Thank you for everything. Uh, if I just asked for help in the first place. Don't sweat it. It's kind of what we do. Not to brag or anything, but it's pretty cool how I saved all those campers from those rubus fruticosis. Blackberry brambles. I'm familiar with the genus. It's just a little weird. You say you saved the campers. I thought I saved them. Yeah, but I saved you from falling on the dock so that you could save the campers. So technically, it was all me. <laughs> I'm really glad I met you. Uh-oh. What? That sounds like a goodbye. And Kira was hoping we'd still be able to hang out. Maybe get dinner and catch a movie? Yeah, I really like that. Oh, good. I was hoping that's what this meant. Oh, uh, <laughs> sorry. I need to borrow Timber. There are some donors I really want him to meet. They were good friends with Mom and Dad. Save me a dance, okay? Uh-huh. Adorable. He does seem like a pretty cool guy. You know what else is cool? Our awesome new superpowers. I handed out like 400 flyers, set up the stage, and still had time to pick up pizza. I love my super speed! About that, I think the crystals are the source of the superpowers. You're not gonna ask us to give them up, are you? No. In fact, I think maybe we were meant to have them all along. Me too. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> there is one thing I'm still wondering about, though. What's that? Where did the magic that hit this cave come from?
third time's the charm. Or is it fifth? I've lost track. All that matters is that the runway is finished. I think you mean the dock. Oh, tomato, tomato. 